your outcomes in life are often a lagging measure of your habits. A lot of the time people talk about, you know, I want to have more money or I want to lose weight or I want some kind of result. But the truth is your bank account is a lagging measure of your financial habits. Your weight is a lagging measure of your eating habits. Your knowledge is a lagging measure of your learning and reading habits. We think the thing that needs to change is the bank account or the test score or the number on the scale. But actually the thing that needs to change are the habits that precede those outcomes. The fight, the daily fight, is a challenge. You will not always want to do what you need to do. You will not always feel like doing something you need to do. You may not want to fight that battle, but you need to. Every action you take is kind of like a vote for the type of person you want to become. And if you can master the right actions, if you can master the right habits, then you can start to cast votes for this new identity, this desired person that you want to be. That's one of the reasons why small habits matter so much. They don't necessarily transform your life overnight. Doing one push-up does not transform your body, but it does cast a vote for being the type of person who doesn't miss workouts. Meditating for one minute might not give you an immediate sense of calm in your life, but it does cast a vote for being a meditator. The real goal is not to run a marathon, the goal is to become a runner. The goal is not to write a book, the goal is to become a writer. True behavior change is really identity change. Because once you've changed that internal story, it's way easier to show up each day. You're not even really motivating yourself that much to do it. You're just like, this is who I am now. Short-term thinking says, the donut tastes good, eat it. Short-term thinking says, one workout doesn't matter. I can skip it. Short-term thinking encourages you to make short-term emotional decisions that hurt you in the long run. And they definitely don't move you toward your overall strategic goals. The more short-term decisions you make, decisions that are based on that immediate gratification, decisions based on quick emotional satisfaction, the further from the path you will stray. Think strategic, think long-term, act strategic. Take action that improves your long-term position and moves you toward your long-term goals. Figure out where you wanna go. Figure out who you wanna be. Figure out what you are trying to do with your life. Write them down. What are you, what are you saving for? What are you working toward? What kind of physical condition do you want to be in? What kind of relationships do you want to have? What skills are you trying to develop? You have to explain to yourself the why. Why do you want to save money? Why do you want to be in that physical condition? Why do you want those relationships? Or why do you want those skills? You are your own leader. Give yourself the mission and explain the why behind those goals. Write those things down in simple, clear, concise language. Read it before you go to bed. Read it when you wake up. Read it every day until it is embedded in your brain. You need to win battles in order to win the war. You need to get out of bed, you need to run, you need to work out, you need to read and study and practice, and you need to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. And I know that can be hard. That's why people lose the war. That's why people never achieve their strategic goals. One missed workout at a time. One donut bypasses security and then another and then another and it all adds up why because we don't think about the big picture to win tactically we have to think strategic all the time think strategic all the time before any action or any inaction ask yourself this question what I am doing what I am about to do 
Is it going to help me get where I am going? Is this action going to make me stronger or weaker? Is this action going to make me smarter or more skilled? Will this action move me toward the strategic long-term goals I am trying to achieve in my life? Don't rationalize. Don't negotiate. That is where discipline comes from. Discipline is rooted in the truth we tell ourselves and discipline delivers long-term strategic success. Strategic thought is disciplined thought. Strategic thought allows you to make the right tactical actions to move you forward to achieve your goals, to be who you want to be and do what you want to do for 2022 and for life think strategic know why you are doing what you are doing and then get out there every day and win those small tactical short-term battles so you can win the strategic long-term victory that puts you where you want to be get out of your damn bed get off your phone get out of the soft and addictive comfort zone that weakens you and destroys your goals and you need to go out there into the world and get after it where are you lacking in life you need to look at your daily routine and start to find that half an hour or an hour that you generally truly have downtime. And I want you to take your phone, I want you to set an alarm for that time, and I want you to put the alarm as, dude, it's time to fucking work out. You do this for a week or two at a time, and it starts to become something that you look forward to. Because you're going to notice that every time you accomplish one of these things, the immediate feeling you have after is a feeling of gratitude, a feeling of winning, a feeling of being proud of yourself. And this is how you start to build upon what it is you lack to build a positive habit. These positive habits eventually turn into routines. And before you know it, you're already accomplishing all these things that have seemed impossible to you. And you're doing it seemingly automatically because you started to build a real habit. As this process becomes just the way it is, is it will actually become who you are. And what happens then is that your life magically, quote unquote, magically transforms with very little effort. The first two to four, six weeks, you're going to have days where you have to grit it out. You're gonna have days where you get that dirt in your eyes and you feel like quitting. But the point is, if you push through those days, you create a new habitual process that produces a beneficial result for you. You have to realize that the reason you are where you are is because you have a habit that you haven't been able to break. And that habit is quitting. Most people can never get over the habit of quitting, ever. Most marathon runners don't just decide, I'm going to run a marathon and go out and do it. Now, I know a couple of guys who have done that, but that's just not the norm. Run
running a marathon is the process that is a result of the habit of running. People who start running, they eventually, you know, the first couple weeks, they're like, this sucks. They stick with it, and they eventually start to form a habit that they continue to build upon. And this is the same in every single area of life, whether it be dieting, whether it be working out, whether it be maintaining healthy relationships, whether it be becoming financially successful. Consistency is always the key, and you have to put work into developing, and I mean conscious work, into developing your routine and habits because if you don't it will always be a fight it will always be a struggle and that's not what we want to live like and that starts by being conscious of how we create habits being conscious of which habits we have and being conscious of implementing the habits we have in areas that were great into areas that we struggle it's necessary for you to foster these habits in multiple areas of your life. That's the big kicker here. You can't just win in one area and then let the other. area go so instead of just having one area that you're good at start working on all of the areas and start implementing your systems and watch these positive habits start forming and these skills beginning to cultivate these things compound they go together when you realize you're spending your time in more productive ways you start to notice when you're slacking off more being positive in one aspect of your life pushes you to cultivate those successes in other areas. And the ongoing goal is that you do become so well-rounded and so quote unquote big that it's literally insulting for you to even consider giving up in any other area. Life is hard, guys. Any path you take that ends up with building yourself up is going to be hard. Quitting is easy. Lying in bed your whole life, watching The Walking Dead is easy. But what are you getting out of that? That's not happiness to you. That's not happiness for anybody. There is no way around putting in the work. If you want to succeed in anything, you are going to have to work your... off for a really long time the reason why we go back to old habits is because our goals are too lofty we're not achieving our goals fast enough we're very impatient nowadays we're not proud of ourselves for the small accomplishments what we need is we need this monstrosity of the thing to happen and say ah I did it nah there's a process that you have to go through and patience is the process. You have to learn what do you want in your life? We have so much 
influence coming at us that we are so lost. We don't know what we want to do because we don't spend enough time with ourselves. And it's okay to sit in a room by yourself in a chair and just think about you, where I want to be, where do I see myself tomorrow, the next year, the next year from that. And it takes a lot of self-discipline.